In this video, we'll be looking at how we can use some technology to solve polynomials. So what I'd like you to do um, while you're watching this video is probably open up Desmos or your favorite graphing calculator um, and input the table of values that you can see into Desmos. And you can see that I've done that on my own here. I've put my table of values um, into Desmos and I've created a scatter plot. And let's, uh, let's go ahead and um, you might have different window settings than I do, so you might see like a slightly different part of the of the scatter plot. So let's go into graph settings, click on the wrench, and change the scale on our axis to something that's going to be a little bit more friendly for viewing our data. So I'm going to change my x-axis to go from um, negative 2 to 15, and I'm going to change my y-axis to go from negative 2 also to 15. And that gives me a, a little bit of a better visual of my scatter plot. In fact, I think I might have maybe a little too much of my x and y axis showing, so I'm going I'm to step this back a bit and go negative 2 to 10, and negative 2 to 10 on the x and y axis. So there's our scatter plot. And what you've done in the past with scatter plots is try and create lines or curves of best fit. So here's an equation for a straight line, y equals mx plus b. And Desmos is great because it lets you add sliders to your equations, which then lets us play around with our values for the y-intercept, values for the slope, and we can try and approximate a line of best fit. So on your Desmos file, maybe you can try and make what you think is your best line of best fit. And I'll do the same on mine. So I think my best line of best fit for this particular set of data would be y equals 0.9x plus 0.5. But you might have something different. And that's okay because we're just approximating. All of us are going to have slightly different equations. So the question is, is there a best line of best fit? Is there one single line of best fit that is better than all of our guesses? And to find that, we can use something called regression. Regression is just a method for trying to estimate the relationship between variables, whether or not one exists. Um, and so we can take scatter plots full of data, and we can see if there is a good line of best fit for the data. And we can do that in Desmos. If you look up at your table of values, notice how the x values are labeled x1, the y values are labeled y1. So we can try and find a best line of best fit by saying that the variable y1 is going to be regressed using this special symbol which you can usually find top left of your keyboard and we're going to try a linear line of best fit so using some different variables I'm going to say y1 is regressed to n x1 plus c And notice when I do that, a new line is formed, a uh, black line here. And there's some important pieces of information to see from this um, new line of best fit. Our most important, I think, value that we want to look at is something called the R squared value. The R squared value um, can be anywhere between 0 and 1. Um, the closer to 1 the R squared value is, the better the line of best fit is. So this R squared value of 0.904, that's a very good line of best fit. It's very accurate. And my parameters, n equals 0 0.91, some more decimal places, c is equal to uh, 0 0.265. These are pretty close to the values that I guessed. And these would be the values of the slope and the y-intercept. Another interesting piece of data to look at is something called the residuals, which I can plot. And I'm just going to change their color. It's not as confusing. And I can do that by clicking and holding on uh, the value E1 in my table of values. I'm going I'm to color them green. And the residuals just show how close to accurate these points are. So the closer these points are to the x-axis, the better. If I had a perfect line of best fit, all of these points would be right along the x-axis. 
So there I've taken a table of values and I've created the best line of best fit for that data. And it's my line right there. But maybe I'm not happy with just this line of best fit. Maybe I think my data might actually be a curve. Well, Desmos will handle that too. I can say that my data Y1, and I'm going to regress it to maybe a quadratic model. So remember our quadratic models. Um, let's use some uh, values G, X1 squared plus H, X1 plus C. That's, I'm sorry, that's, let's do J. That's our equation for a um, parabola in standard form. And if I zoom out a little bit, there I can see how it kind of curves away from the data. And Desmos is telling me that this is actually a better curve of best fit than my um, line of best fit, because my R squared value is greater. It's 0.906, so not much better. And this is where you need to be uh, looking at your data and figuring out where it's coming from and why maybe a line might fit it better than a curve. Sometimes, even though the numbers tell us one thing, reality tells us something else. Again, I can plot my residuals. They're almost exactly the same. So let's just try this with a different set of data. So you can see my table of values goes from 4 to 4. And why don't you follow along with me in Desmos and try this on your own. So take this table and put it into Desmos. And let's see if we can create a good curve of best fit for this data. So let's think about um, what this might look like. Let's try maybe a quadratic. I don't think it's pretty clear this isn't a line of best fit. So y1, we'll regress that to um, ax1 squared plus bx1 plus c. So not a bad regression. Um, my R squared value is 0.947. So it's pretty close. I can then, if I want to, use Desmos by clicking and dragging to find values like the x-intercepts in this function. Tell me the vertex of this function. But maybe I know my data is not supposed to be quadratic. Maybe it's supposed to be cubic. So I can change these values ax1 cubed plus bx1 squared plus cx1 plus d. So my curve changes, my r squared value changes, and I can keep playing around with this. Maybe I'll try quartic. Some values in Desmos are reserved values. For example, E is a special um, value like pi, so we want to make sure we don't use that as one of our parameters. So I'll just make that F. Again, slightly different curve. My R squared value is still pretty high. And I can keep going if I want. My R squared value is getting closer and closer and closer to um, 1, which is good. This, I think, is definitely a degree 5 function. So what you need to do is think back to some of the functions you've learned about in uh, grade 11 math, grade 10 math, grade 9 math, because Desmos will handle really any of those functions. Um, so here I've got a scatter plot uh, that I think we can all agree is a radical function, a square root function. So let's just see if Desmos will handle that. Y1 rests to um, the square root of x. Oh. There we go. And notice here how my r squared value is exactly equal to 1 because it's satisfying all these points. If I plot the 
residuals, they're all exactly on the x-axis because this is a perfect regression. So what we're going to keep doing moving forward in the course is looking more and more at not really functions but data and seeing how we can take data and fit it to the curves that we've learned about so far.